YouTube, is that you? Hey, man, thank you for joining us on this Friday night. I'm looking for something sweet, but I really don't know where to go. So, I mean, hopefully we can find something. Let's go. Oh, it says push. My bad. Oh, yeah. Can't read, guys. Can't read. Hey, and I'm not really from Tucson, um, but I'm looking for something sweet. Do you know where I can go? We got donuts right here. You know what? I'm not really in the mood for donuts. You know, you know another place I can go? Test it out. What is this? What is this? Salted coffee. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Is this heaven? No, man. Is this heaven? What's up? I am Brad. This is Laron. No, I'm Brad. This is Laron. Oh yeah, that's right. This is this is Brad, the Donut Man, aka the Donut Bar Man. Hi guys. Hi Tucson. Hi everyone. YouTube. All right. All right. So perfect. So what do we ha what do we have here, Brad? Right here we have uh, one of our top selling cake donuts, our red velvet cake donut. It has a cream cheese glaze. A uh, crumbled red velvet cake donut on top, and then our Elvis, which has a banana cream filling. It's our Bavarian cream with the banana extract added, uh, uh, peanut butter glaze on top, and then the chocolate musical milk. Everything that Elvis loved. Uh -huh. Minus the bacon. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Eating donuts all the time. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog. That donut ain't no friend of mine. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, so what what is this concoction? So this uh, just made it about five minutes ago. This is our original grilled cheese. We used one of the large donuts, so it's a yeast dough like the Elvis, but it's our ring donut. Uh, we cut it in half. We put butter on it. It's got two slices of Havarti, two slices of American cheese on it, and it is delicious. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of Elvis, did you see the movie? I have it. Oh, the movie's amazing. You need to see Guys, it. Guys, comment below if you saw the movie. Like, I was going into the movie, I was like, it's going to be okay. Amazing. But yeah. Nice. So what is the, your favorite? The guy Elvis? that plays Elvis, like, he looks like he does he, a great yeah, job. He did an yeah. amazing job. I need to see it. I'll have to check it out on uh, whatever streaming service it's on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. What is your favorite donut or thing on the menu? So my favorite donut is actually the Boston cream, which has the same Bavarian cream filling that the Elvis has in it, but chocolate glaze on top and a, a swivel or a little thing of marshmallow on top. But uh, it doesn't have the banana flavoring. It's just the regular Bavarian cream, which is delicious. Okay. That's my, that's my personal favorite if I had to choose. Okay, so tell us about the donut bar. How did the donut bar get started? How did the donut bar in Tucson get started? Like, tell us this, this backstory of it. Yeah. So my brother actually approached me of, about starting a franchise, helping him run a franchise, like man, four years ago now. And uh, and he's like, it's a donut shop. And my brother is a very fit guy. Uh -huh. And I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> like, why why donuts? And he's like. Well, when I tell you the place that it is, you'll know why. I went out there for my 40th birthday out in San Diego, which is where the original donut bar is. And I went out there for my 40th birthday, and my girlfriend at the time told me there's this donut place in downtown San Diego that has rave reviews. We have to go there. I tried them, and they were by far the best donuts I had ever had in my life. And he tells me it's Donut Bar, and I'm like, yes, we have got to get a Donut Bar in Tucson. So it wasn't that easy, though. There was 1,600 applications. 1,600? 1,600 applications for franchises. Okay. They only approved 10. Okay. We were one of the 10 lucky ones that got approved. Okay. So, uh, 
and they love Tucson. They, they came out here and checked out Tucson, and they were like, we need a donut bar in Tucson. So we uh, it took a long time to get the build out and everything, but that's kind of the basic backstory of how like we initially started. Um, so we were originally a franchise. We are no longer. Okay. They cut ties with all the franchises the middle of 2020 because of personal reasons and also because of the pandemic. Okay. So. Uh, we became our own entity, which is why we now go by Donut Bar Tucson and not just Donut Bar. Um, so now we're our own thing and we've actually made a little spin on some of the, the grilled cheese sandwiches. We've made some of our own and uh, like the undecided and cheddar bacon pickle and our new one, the Mortadella Madness that chef uh, Lindy Thunder Bacon Riley from uh, Thunder Bacon Burger Company. He helped us create it and it is delicious. You got to try it. Mortadella Madness. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So, um, all right. That's, that's cool. So you guys are not with that uh, franchise anymore okay and um so where 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 are we where, what's the address here so the address is uh we're in downtown tucson uh we are on sixth avenue just off of congress our address is 33 north sixth avenue we are right next to the uh, UPS store and Miss Saigon's downtown location. The sandwich right in between. And this location has been here for how long? We opened February 22nd of 2020. So we're talking two years, eight months, somewhere around there. Okay. And then, um, where can the people follow you at? So we actually have Instagram, Donut Bar Tucson. Uh, also Facebook, Donut Bar Tucson. And then we also have a website Donut Bar Tucson AZ uh, dot, dot com. <laughs> I don't go on there very often, so yeah. But but uh, it's still we need to do some work on it yet. But it's it's mostly up and running and, and good to go. So, but yeah, our main our main following is on Instagram and Facebook. So okay. look, if guys, if it ain't Donut Bar Tucson AZ, it's not the right one. It's the pretender. It's the fake Donut Bar. <laughs> so and you guys sell. It looks like you sell alcohol here. That's what's called Donut Bar. It is. Okay. That's where. Uh, so going back to the original franchisor, they called a donut bar from the get-go. They didn't originally have alcohol. Mm -hmm. They would sell out by like noon every day. And a lot of people are like, hey, I'm not a morning person. Why aren't you guys open later? Mm -hmm. So a spot opened up next to them. They bought it. They expanded and, okay. and got the, uh, the alcohol license. Uh, they just got a beer and wine license, which is what we have here, okay. beer and wine. Um, and, uh, then they're open in the evening. So okay. we do the same thing here. We're open uh, right now. We're closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. And then we're also open in the evenings on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And that's where the majority of our alcohol sales come in. I mean, there's still people that drink on Saturday and Sunday morning and, and you know, yeah. yeah. But uh, we do mimosas, which is a perfect, you know, okay. compliment to yeah. our donuts and our grilled cheese. We also do French toast. Okay. So mimosas and a French toast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. But, uh, um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we have the alcohol. We do what we can with our beer and wine license. We got hard ciders, hard seltzers, mimosas. We do wine. We have beer. We usually always have a meat on top. Okay. Because uh, something different and it's really good. It's delicious. If you haven't tried meat, it's really good. What do you have on tap over there? So people are now. Ah, so right now we we try to stick to have always a few locals. Okay. So we like to support local uh, breweries. So we have a Moto Sonora Victory of Death, pretty much always on tap. The Barrio Blonde, always on tap. Uh, currently we have a Barrio Vienna Lager because it's the Oktoberfest time of year. So it's like that Vienna, that, that lager that you have for like, you know, the holidays. Um, we will be getting a 1912 Brewing Mescalero Stout on Ooh. soon. That's okay. also a holiday only beer that they brew. Um, and then we have some some ones that aren't local. We have a Prairie Rainbow Sherbert uh, Sour, which people love the love the sours. We have a Belching Beaver uh, Peanut Butter Milk Stout Ooh. is what we usually have. Okay. We got a little twist on that because the Milk Stout was out. So we got the Viva La Beaver Imperial Peanut Butter Stout now. So, but we'll have one of the two of them. We have a cider on tap, and then we have that Meridian Hive Blackberry Mead that I was telling you about. So, 
we had a good variety. We got stouts and sours and IPAs and yeah. What's your personal favorite? I actually, if I had to choose from what's on top right now, the Vienna Lager okay. is really good from Barrio. It's delicious. It's super smooth. It's yeah. I mean, for this time of year, it's great. My favorite of, because we also have a, a wide variety of can selection as well. My favorite on there would be the Barrio Rojo, but the Phantom Bride IPA from Belch and Beaver is also delicious. We have that always in a can. We have <laughs> seltzers. I'm not a huge seltzer fan, but we sell a lot of seltzers because people like the seltzer. Um, ciders and all that stuff. But yeah, those would be my two favorites, the Barrio Vienna Lager. The Barrio Rojo. I guess I'm I'm sporting uh, the Barrio, huh? Yeah. <laughs> let's um, let's stick it. Let's um, yeah. as they say, break bread. We're gonna break cheese. So yes. You grab and grab you one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna actually grab this one right here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Every time. Mm -hmm. I love it. That was amazing. It's sweet. We put a little bit of cinnamon sugar mm. on the outside of the oh. one, outside of the donut. So a little bit stays on there. Plus because it's the donut, uh, there's a little bit of sweetness in the actual donut. Okay. 95% of the sweetness on our dessert donuts comes from the glaze. Mm, okay. But there is a slight sweetness to the to the yeast still. Yeah, it's so amazing. Just, just ever so slight. So, so you guys gotta try this grilled cheese. It'd make, make it'd make you want to smack your mama. It's better than mama grilled cheese. Try so mayo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We also serve it with sriracha mayo and sriracha. Okay. And the sriracha mayo is my favorite. The sriracha mayo is your favorite. This one? Yep. Okay. Let's let's break bread again. Gives it for... gives it gives it a little bit of heat. Okay. What species you want? I want this one right here. Okay. <laughs> I'll take uh, the cheesy one. Okay. Let's try it with this a little dip, a little dippity dip dip. Gives it a little bit of a kick and yeah yeah boom. Mm. I like that better because that heat's there. Yes. It actually kind of kind of balances the sweet, mm -hmm. and the sweet comes in later. I like that. It is really good. That that crunchiness from that bread too. Mm -hmm. It is it's the the mm -hmm. light amazing. Yeah. So this one's gonna be a little bit hotter. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, this is turning up the heat. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what this one's like. Are you getting flashbacks to your one ship challenge? Oh yes. When I almost died. Oh, what the hell? But we're gonna do it yeah. again, guys. Well, Coming up. Right. All right, listen. This is sriracha. Now it's not super spicy, but it does definitely pack a little bit of a punch. So. All right, cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sriracha, guys, is hotter. That heat just hits. You. This is a little more milder. Mm. It's been a while since I had the sriracha. Yeah, it is definitely hotter. <laughs> yeah. I usually always just stick to the the mayo. I love the mayo because it's got some heat to it, but it's creamier because of that yep. mayo. Nope. Um, but that sriracha, it punches you in the face. And then that sweet definitely helps counterbalance that heat because it's, it's, you need it. Yes. Yeah. So this was enjoyable. Um, what do you want to tell the people of Tucson or just the people visiting there, just people in general? Well, we love making our donuts every day. We make them uh, from scratch every day. They are delicious. We have a lot of different flavors. We do catering for weddings, birthdays. We have smaller size, because I know some of our big donuts look a little intimidating sometimes, but we can do pretty much every flavor in a smaller two, three, four bite size for, for any type of event, baby showers, anything but yeah like i already said weddings um you guys should come check us out like we have a good time here we have music playing we stay open late on the weekends friday night to midnight or later 
Depends on business. We never like, I never turn anybody away. If they're here having a good time, I'll stay, I'll stay later. So, and usually till one or later on Saturdays. Um, if you're not a night person, the mornings, uh, 8 a.m. on weekends until about one or two o'clock is when we're open till. Sure. When we sell out, because yeah. we usually do sell out every day. So, um, if you ever want to come down here at 11 and you're like, oh, you're going to be sold out of my favorite donut, you can always call the shop. We'll set donuts aside for you. 11 a.m. or p.m.? 11, like, let's say in the morning and we're close to selling out. Like, you could call us at like nine in the morning and say, hey, we're going to come by at 11. And uh, can you set this and this and this aside if you still have not Oh yeah, we'll sell them aside, write your name on it. That way you don't have to, you know, come down here super early if you're not a super early person. But uh, yeah, we love what we do down here. The bakers, decorators have a good time. You know, it's a, it's a fun job. It's, a, it's some work, but it's a fun job. <laughs> and. Uh, and yeah, people like are always like have smiley faces on their hand. Why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you should come check us out and uh, yeah, enjoy the goodness. By the way, the grill with all the grilled donuts. Uh, Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday morning, Sunday morning is when we have the grill turned on. So, yeah. So that's the time to get your your hot grilled donuts and uh, yeah. Yeah, well, so I want to say, um, team, thank you for joining in. Um, yeah. Until the next one, I'm going to say, keep the engine. Thank you. I'll check it out. Okay. Yeah, get out check. Okay. All right, YouTube guys, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, Brad. This was so amazing. Hey, until the next one, guys. All right. Cue the out. out what did you say again? Cue the outro. Cue the outro. Cue the outro. Oh, cue the outro. <laughs>